Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Thursday afternoon. After a year of planning, Mills County officials have landed on a contractor to work on the county annex building. During its regular meeting earlier this week, the Mills County Board of Supervisors selected Mark Hughes Construction for just over $598,000 for remodeling and expansion efforts at the facility on Railroad Avenue in southeast Glenwood. The board selected Mark Hughes over three other bids ranging from $700,000 to over $900,000. Funeral home directors are advising residents of a new scam preying upon those who have recently lost a loved one. The Iowa Funeral Directors Association is spreading the word to funeral homes across the state of the scam, which typically seeks some form of monetary deposit from individuals preparing funeral services for a family member or loved one. Stacy Shearer is general manager for the Wabash Funeral Home in Shenandoah. Shearer tells KMA News the incidents typically start with a scammer identifying themselves as a third party working with an individual's respective funeral hall. A Clarenda man faces multiple charges following his arrest earlier this week. According to Iowa District Court records, Jesse Josiah Stimson was arrested Tuesday for second-degree sexual abuse, indecent contact with the child, and lascivious acts for the child, fondle or touch. Court records indicate the charges stem from allegations referencing incidents from February 2021 to July 2023. Court records also indicate that after a warrant was served, Stimson turned himself in to the Page County Sheriff's Office. And Shenandoah High School's new academic year is off to a fantastic start. That's according to Andrew Christensen, who is in his second year as the high school's principal. Christensen and other staff members welcomed students back last week. Christensen talked about the start of the school year on KMA's Morning Line program this morning. KMA on track weather is sunny today with highs in the low 80s, south to southeast winds 5 to 15, clear tonight lows in the upper 50s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a good rest of your Thursday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.